Join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter with Good Day Dakota. It's 641. Welcome back. Well, plane contrails have been the source of many conspiracy theories and myths, but they can also help you forecast the weather. That's right. And new this morning, meteorologist Amber Wheeler is here to explain what plane contrails are and to debunk a myth. That's in this week's WeatherWise. Amber? Well, guys, you know, I actually got this idea to do this story after a viewer approached me recently asking what plane contrails were. And because of the growing misconception they hold, I wanted to cover this subject. Here's exactly what plane contrails are. They're condensation that forms from high altitude flying planes. The hot exhaust from the plane meets the cold atmosphere, and sometimes the atmosphere is as low as 60 below that high up. And that creates tiny ice crystals visible over 30,000 feet below to the ground. This creates condensation trails, and for short, we call them contrails. They can even be made up of exhaust and dust particles particles just like the car your car exhausts on a really cold day and when you're outside and you can see your breath when you exhale exhale it's the same principle the warm air from your lungs meets the cold air and just makes that uh, kind of cloud but Here's a fun fact that you can use to impress your friends at maybe the next party you go to. Well, I think it's impressive anyways. Uh, when the contrails are long and they stick around in the sky for a while, it means conditions are humid and unsettled weather may be on the horizon. And if the contrails are short and don't last long or really just don't form at all, it means there's less humidity and that air mass is stable. But contrails haven't come without their controversy. A recent Harvard study found that with rapid increase in social media use and other online sites, people have either been misinformed or educated themselves with bogus information. A growing number of people believe in co that contrails are actually chemtrails or the release of toxic chemicals into the atmosphere. The goal of these so-called chemtrails range from weather modification to invoking mind control to spreading diseases. It's usually believe that the government or big businesses are behind it and that they are good at covering up their tracks. But this theory that planes are spraying chemicals to carry out an agenda is simply not true. Small grains of truth can be exploited to make something seem plausible. The EPA even put out a plan, a plane controls, fa a plane controls rather, fact sheet to combat some of this misinformation. A 2016 cooperative congressional election study of 36,000 people found that roughly 35 percent either fully believed or somewhat believed in chemtrails. Those trying to prove this theory have given evidence of increased amounts of barium and aluminum in their yards or on their skin. Also, it's been described as having a taste or a smell, but there literally is no correlation between, directly or indirectly that is, between contrails playing contrails and a larger plan that's being carried out. And in full disclosure of my research and to lay out more reputable places for you to get uh, more of your science information to add to your, to your reading list, I've got links to some of my research on kxnet.com. You can find this story in the WeatherWise section. All right. Very interesting. Always learning something. And it's always, you know, good to look at reliable sources just like right. you're saying, Amber. 100%. Thank you. Know your sources. That's right. Absolutely. I think it's the moral of the story here. All right. Thank you, Amber. And when we were this morning on Good Day to